Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today guys, I'm going to be telling you how you can get bot lobbies here inside of a brand new season, Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 4. Before we get into it guys, I would like to let you know, I will be gifting subscribers here on my channel, whether that be the brand new battle pass or skins in the shop. If you'd like the chance to be gifted, all you need to do is leave a like, subscribe, put on channel notifications, head on over to the Fortnite item shop guys and use code LOGIC. I do appreciate all of your support, we're getting very very close to 20,000 subscribers so thank you so much. But let's get straight into the video. Of course today is a very hype day, chapter 5 season 4 has finally launched and the Marvel themed season is insane. Let me know in the comments if you've actually played the game and what do you think. Because me personally, I've not played the game yet, but I have seen quite a lot of videos on it so far. From like Cypher PK, I think I saw a clip from Clicks, And I think the season genuinely does look really, really good. Of course, we've got a lot of map changes. We have got the Raft, Doomstat, uh, Doom's Courtyard and Castle Doom with a lot of challenges you can complete, giving you actually so much XP to start the season off. Fortnite Mobile is also back um, for some people. I don't think it's for everybody. I, I don't think it's in the US right now. And you can actually unlock a free skin for completing challenges. This is the skin you can unlock. I mean, it's, it's an alright skin to be fair, but for completely free, you might as well just do it. All you need to do is earn XP while playing Fortnite on mobile, basically. But guys, now let's finally get into how you can actually get bot lobbies here in Chapter 5 Season 4. So as we know, because the season launched today, it might be quite hard to get bot lobbies as so many people are actually playing the game right now. 687,000 people are playing Battle Royale, about 330,000 are playing Zero Builds. I mean, people are playing Reload, which I'm quite surprised about because why would you not want to play the brand new season? Um, ranked, there's 218,000. So there are basically so many people playing Fortnite right now. So it could be quite hard to get bot lobbies. But the first way I actually have is basically by playing at a later date. Of course, you might want to experience the season as it has just launched. But if you would like to get easier lobbies, it just makes more sense to play the game when less people are playing. That could be at a late time. So for example, in the UK, item shops reset at 1am. The average player might not stay awake on Fortnite until 1am. So you could definitely play some games after item shop resets or just play on a less like day where people are playing. Of course, it's the weekend where the season has just launched. So this weekend, so many people are going to be playing the game. So let's say you waited until Monday or Tuesday where people could be at school or work. Then, of course, you could get easier opponents. The next way, guys, is actually by changing your region. If we actually head on over to settings, then head on over to the third tab, which is game, we can see matchmaking region. Now, this is basically where you pick the region you play on and you get less ping. However, you can actually change it as many times as you want. The only downside is you will lag. So as you can see, I'm from Europe, so I'm playing on Europe servers. I get 7 ping. Of course, I do get lower. Sometimes I might get higher, but I roughly get around 7. If I were to switch to Brazil, for example, I could get easier lobbies. However, I would average about 198 ping. But I think it could be worth it if you find a region that gives you quite less ping. So, for example, Middle East and NA East are 92 ping for me. So... There could be a potential for me to play on that server to get easier lobbies. I could search up on Google. So I could search up NA East time now. And let's say it's like 2am. I could play some Fortnite on NA East because it will be 2am for them. And maybe not many people will be online. Like right now, I'm recording this video at 1.30pm. 
and in Brazil right now it is 9.30 a.m. So if I wanted to get some easier lobbies right now, I could definitely switch over to Brazil and play some games because I don't really suspect too many people are going to be playing Fortnite at 9.30 a.m. Of course there will be some exceptions because the season has just released, but let's say on an average day, let's say we're a week in the future and it's next Friday and it's just a random Friday, I think you could definitely get easier lobbies because who is going to be playing at 9.30 a.m.? I mean, of course you do get the exception of people. I don't judge you if you play early, but just roughly, I don't expect too many people will. The next method is actually low elo. If you don't know what elo is, it has been a thing in tournaments and a ranked where basically if you perform very badly in a lot of games in a row, you'll get put into easier lobbies. It usually always works in ranked, so I suspect it will be the same in public matches. Let's say you die off spawn and you land, so let's say you land at Castle Doom because it is a brand new POI and you die five times off spawn. In your sixth game, you could get an easier lobby because Fortnite recognises that you just keep dying, so maybe you're not the best player. And of course, people do take advantage of it, like there could be a really good player that just keeps dying on purpose to get into an easier lobby. But basically, it does work quite a lot of the time. Um, that's why sometimes when if you guys play tournaments... If you're in like a low elo game, you could get like a massive sweat in one of the games and it is very infuriating. But guys, those are the methods that basically work. Let me know down below if you are going to use any of these methods to get easier lobbies in Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 4. If this video did help though, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I do appreciate all of the support. Like I said guys, we're getting very close to 20,000 subscribers. If you do want to use my code as well in the Fortnite item shop, that is code LOGIC, especially if you're going to be purchasing the Battle Pass. But if not, guys, I will be gifting it very soon, like I said. In the description is my, all my social medias, and if, in, case, in case you guys want to become a member, where you can get exclusive perks for a set price. But let me know down below, what do you think of the season if you've played any games, and how many wins you actually have. Like I said, I've not played any games yet, so I haven't won, but I'm sure that will change very, very soon. But guys, thank you for watching this video. I do hope you have a great rest of your day, guys, and peace out.